Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rohit and this is the uh, 12th sessions of the service portal training. In today's class, we'll talk about the SP model part 2. The last day we talk about that uh, how we can replace the JavaScript alert, um, confirm or the prompt um, with our SP model. Today we'll talk first that how we can call one widget from our one uh, using the SP model and then show the data using the model pop-up and then we'll talk about that furthermore. So without wasting time, let's get started. So first thing first, I'll go back to that my task here and under this my task, as I mentioned that there is a single widget which is present to the left and right both the side. What I'll do here, uh, in this uh, close, uh, open record what will be happened right now if you click that it is redirecting to the next page basically it is opening to the next page instead of that it will be open the record in the modal window and then in the modal window uh, you will get the data you should not go to the i mean you did not need to be go to the next pages for that will uh, i'll make certain changes probably not here or i i will i can do that uh, the, the same thing here or here or wherever i need it basically i can do that so let's do one thing i'll do here instead of open record if somebody click that uh, here they should not go to this uh, new page they uh, they will be remain in the same page and the data will be came up as a uh, modal window for that we'll use the sp model and then using that we'll um, call from this widget to that another widget so so for that what i'll do i'll press control and click edit and um, here we'll i'll start modifying that First thing, I will go back to the server script here and in this server script, whatever is needed, everything is there. I will do one thing, uh, under this number, you can see this is the number. What I'll do, I will add a anchor here um, so that it will be linked kind of thing. And in inside this anchor, I will uh, put this number black number plot here. So this is the what I will do. And then here I will say that href first and then inside that what I'll do I will open a particular link for that um, I will uh, do these things so I'll copy this whole link so that I, I want to use this open in a different window in this this here and then this will be in a pop-up so let's do that so first I'll paste this one here okay so this will be something like that and then I should be passed this uh, number for that I will use the key underscore C side this one. I will copy that and use this one in curl depressing and then here I will say the target equal to equal to underscore blank. So these things I will just make sure that that um, opening in a new tab is uh, remain same as it is. So I will refresh that and now you can see all these links are hyperlink and if I hover over it will uh, landing me to that new page. So the opening to the new page is remain as it is. I will update that um, here in this UI action called get uh, data something like that and then somebody click that it should open as a pop up for that what I have to do. I'll go back to the client script here and in this client script if somebody click here instead of opening to these uh, uh, you know the task if it is open instead of this one I will uh, use the SP model so I'll turn off these two lines right now and then I will use that SP uh, model and as you know that in this uh, last time we did that we did, we did that SP model we have to use the SP model and then uh, we are going to call from this widget we are going to call another widget so i'll uh, say that um, open once we put the open we can pass uh, uh, several uh, several parameter so i'll type open and then here i'll pass some parameter so let's see the first parameter first parameter is our title so i'll say that uh, you know record details and then after that comma and then second parameter is that we need to be passed the widget so uh, we need to type the widget and here 
we need to call a widget that is uh, that we can call and then we can pass that okay so i'll pass the widget name later then we have to pass the widget input and here we need to pass certain record first i will i have to be pass the sys underscore id and then the value will be id and then next we have to be pass the table and this time table will be hard coded called incident for the timing so these two things i just need to be pass and then here uh, we i need to be pass the widget name that widget can uh, open and show the record um, remember we talked about that in our last video uh, we are going to use that uh, one um, page called form page so let's open the form page first So I'll type that uh, ID equal to form. If I open the form page, I, I as I know that as we know that the form widget or form page form page have a capability to render any particular form. Uh, let's say that any incident, any change, any 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 form. So we will uh, open this form widget, and if we open this form widget, and we need to be find out that backend name the form widget backend name is widget uh, slash form so we copy that and paste here called widget slash uh, form and then uh, as we did earlier also we can use the then function so we can say that then and then here we can say the function under this function if if somebody close that if you want to do some operator if somebody click ok or close if you want to do some operation you can do that so let's say i will say that alert and here i'll say that um pop up close something like that so if you want to do any any operation after closing this pop up you can define that so pop up close something like that so these things i just need to do so remember that i am going to call from one widget to the another widget like somebody click that so i will call from one widget to the another widget title will be record underscore details and then I'm going to call the widget underscore widget slash form and then widget in the widget input we are passing some sys id and then uh, the table name incident instead of that we are getting the table name call here somehow right so we can use that one also so let's see somewhere we are using that right so we can use the data dot table here equal to table so that we can um, use here so i'll just remove that and c dot data dot table c dot data dot table so using uh, that also we can we can get that so let's save that from our our widget and if we refresh our uh, page here and click open record we should get a pop-up and then this pop-up have these complete details you can see that particular incident details so that's that's how we can call from one widget to the another widget so if we click the change request it should show the change request in a in a pop-up form uh, you can see so same thing is happening and then if you if you want to if they have access to modify that they can modify that so two things uh, i mean a uh, few four thing we have understand using the sp model one is the alert second thing is that a confirm third thing is the uh, input or prompt which is the widget dot open and using the same thing widget dot open we can call one widget from another widget by using that widget id and then we can pass the parameter and we can call that and open in a pop up uh, view so this all uh, all about these things now uh, during the close so if somebody try to cl click the close we just want to make sure that we are going to give them the proper uh, pop-up for that we can simply modify our client script here this is a uh, close uh, one so we will say that sp model dot confirm and here we can say that uh, do you want to close and then under this then function we we'll get the answer and if answer matches 
So we'll completely move this code from here to here. So let's see what what error why we are getting error. So it should be copy till the point. So we we'll copy this one and paste here. Okay. So let's save that. So also the close close incident or close button that button we have created uh, that has to be uh, tweaked so that uh, if somebody click that close incident, we are going to show a uh, uh, confirm button. If somebody click the close, we are not doing anything. But if somebody click close and okay, we will we uh, immediately close that incident. So or resolve that incident. So that's all how we can uh, we can we can compare with our JavaScript. So if you need this code, you can simply visit our, uh, I mean, my page called service portal uh, here. And then we, I have a section called uh, JavaScript pop-up versus service portal. Here you can get all this complete code. You can get from this there and then you can try it. So that's it for today. If you have any question, let me know. Thank you very much. Have a great day.